breaking news. Kasina State residents attack and stone Peter Obi's convoy destroy several vehicles during presidential campaign. The Obi's campaign team confirmed the attack on Tuesday evening, saying it was condemnable how the hoodlums protected the presidential campaign convoy with stones. Hmm. I don't understand. After APC, PDP signed peace accord and they are still doing this. This is not nice at all. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Some residents of Castina State suspected to be political thugs have attacked the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, who was in the state for his presidential campaign rally. The Obi's campaign team confirmed the attack on Tuesday evening, saying it was condemnable how the hoodlums protect the presidential campaign convoy with stones. Obi's team that has been on a state-to-state -to -state tour touched down in Castina on Monday. Obi had wooed voters and promised to tackle insecurity if elected. In a statement issued on his behalf, Diran Onofide, the head of media Obidati Presidential Campaign Council, said that the attack on Obi and his campaign team was planned by desperate politicians. Castina is the home state of President Muhammad Buhari. Our candidates had met with women in a town hall and then had a hugely successful rally at the Mohammed Diko Stadium. However, on his way to the airport, who longs attacked the car. Our candidate was riding in with heavy stones from his driver's side causing substantial damage to the vehicle. To the glory of God, Mr. Ubi and other occupants of the car were on hurt. Subsequently, another set of talks also threw stones outside the stadium, which damaged several vehicles, including that of our official stage crew, Oni Fade said. According to him, the two incidents take Taking together made the team to suspect that the attacks may have been premeditated at the behest of desperate politicians who had been deluding themselves with the first claim that they had the Northwest in their pockets, but are now shocked by the show of force of the Ubidati movement in the region. Why? Condemning the people. Why commending the people of Castina, who came out in mass to support their campaign on Monday, he urged security agencies to investigate the attacks to forestall future occurrences. Hmm. They don't start now. At this said they sign a peace accord. All these people, they are just disturbing themselves. You understand? And I don't know why these people have turned election in Nigeria to be do or die. It wasn't supposed to be like that. If people not vote for you, it no matter. Next time come back, maybe you go win. You understand? I think it's wrong for someone to force himself on, 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 on the masses. Allow the Nigerians, Nigerian people to make their choice. You understand? All these attacking people here and there and all that. He, it will not change anything. If Nigerians have made up their mind that Peter will be, they will vote for. Eh? It's still Peter will be, they will vote for. So there is no two way about it. All these attacks here and there have to stop. Okay? You just have to stop. Uh, the reason the former president, Ulog Jonathan, gave them education, but it seems their elites love them being illiterate. Fear not has this, this, this treacher for terror. I still believe that religion, politics of greed, education, and their orientation are factors to the kind of life 
but it could be resolved if the Nigerians vote in someone who understands and have the political will to stop these issues. My happiness is that all these northerners that does not want to get things, they have been in power more than the, the South, yet the poverty level in the, northern, in the North is nothing to tell home about. They don't still have things to hold their politicians accountable. Hashtag say no to sentiment and get sense. So far, not the tired demo. Let them continue to enjoy the killings and insecurity brought upon them by their son. How can someone from Biafra Republic contest for Nigerian president? Immigration should arrest him and take him back to his country. Okay, these are reactions by Nigerians. The level of illiteracy in the north in, in some part in the in north and part of Nigeria is high, worse than Ebola and COVID nineteen pandemic. Even the educated ones among them could not help the situations rather than worsen it for them through the words of their mouth, etc. That is why most problems in the north eliminated from emanated from the north. May God continue to help us all. Amen. I am of the APC, but I honestly condemn this act. If it is true, can this type of thing happen in the southeast? The answer is no. Any bloody anybody who supports one xenology, xenology is insane. It can't work no matter how anybody try. The time of good luck, Ibele Jonathan, it happened in Bauchi State. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share.